Hey, welcome back, guys, to Dirty Boots Capital, where we talk about all things freedom related and uh, health and wellness and uh, wealth, obviously, because uh, wealth is an important component of our freedom. And we talk a lot about real estate as well, right? So, but today I want to talk about this new artificial intelligence uh, out there called Chat GBT. You probably heard about it already somewhere. Uh, Chat GPT. There's a lot of good things and a lot of bad things associated with this artificial intelligence, uh, as you can imagine. There's such an amazing component to this artificial intelligence that's going to be able to, you know, just very simply take some keywords that we input into this uh, technology, and it's going to be able to create scripts within Microsoft Excel to be able to do some calculations, right? So you can just put in some keywords, it'll create the script for you. You copy paste that into a cell inside uh, Microsoft and it's just amazing. Uh, but that's not all, right? You could give this technology a few keywords and it could create a blog post for you, right? Uh, if you're a blogger, that's that's amazing, right? To be able to not have to take that time and energy and thought to be able to create that blog post. Uh, the technology can do it for you, right? There's a lot of features here uh, with this artificial intelligence that's not there yet. It still needs a lot of development for sure, but it will get there for sure. Uh, Microsoft is investing another $10 billion into this technology. They've already invested $1 billion. And uh, so, yeah, uh, another $10 billion uh, infusion is going to help bring this technology along quite a bit, right? So it is definitely going to impact our lives. And uh, for many, it's going to impact our ability to create wealth right? Either in a positive way or in a negative way, unfortunately, right? So it's a very interesting technology because from, from, the, from a good standpoint, it allows businesses, content creators, educators to create content very cheaply uh, to be able to help the masses. However, those are jobs that would have normally gone to humans, right? that this artificial intelligence is gonna be taken away. So that's the bad aspect, right? Uh, folks that would normally be doing these jobs, uh, they gotta go find something else to do, which which is okay, they'll find something. Um, but uh, you know, it's gonna impact some folks out there. And like I said, from a wealth creating standpoint, it's, it's not gonna be positive for those folks. Um, some, some folks have, so to speak, uh, challenged me on, it being similar to assembly line workers when automation came into play, right? And uh, hugely in the uh, automotive industry, right? But my rebuttal to that is, yes, I agree. I understand. Uh, there is a certain component of that happening now uh, with chat GBT. But uh, those auto assembly line workers, they were very uh, low paying uh, jobs, and they had the opportunity to retool, re-educate themselves so that they could go from a low paying job to a higher paying job. And that was good. That helped society, that helped business, that helped individuals create wealth. It was There was a lot of goodness that came as a result of automation that took jobs away and displaced people into higher paying jobs. What chat GPT, unfortunately, could do is take some of those higher paying jobs, right? People who are uh, journalists and blog writers and even engineers. If some of that automated automation hits them, they have little opportunity to go up the pay scale and more opportunity to drop down the pay scale, unfortunately. There's also the component of having diminished meaning and value to college degrees, right? So if you have these uh, currently highly paid workers, consultants, analysts, software engineers who are now going to be replaced to some degree, not all of them, but to some degree, some of them may be replaced with this artificial intelligence, chat GPT, that diminishes the value of a degree, right? Because now, you know, you basically have thousands of young people graduating college with, with a degree today. But if you have 
a tool, AI, that's going to be able to do some of those same functions, it automatically devalues the college degree, which is not a good thing for, for society, for individuals. So that's, that's uh, so yeah, I, I, I think that's a, a concerning aspect. Um, and then the other piece of this is, you know, we're all hit with a tremendous amount of propaganda today uh, in the media, definitely in, in social media. We see a lot of propaganda coming out there and it's from it's from a bunch of different angles. It's, you know, political angles uh, from the government, from, you know, just scam artists out there and also businesses who are really preying on consumerism to be able to line their pockets as a business owner. Right. So the ability for this A.I., to just continue to increase the amount of propaganda and the amount of ads that you see on a daily basis is phenomenal because it's going to be low cost, right? It's going to be a low cost solution to get information out there, to get social media posts out there, to get blog posts out there. So now when you see a uh, an article, right, you Google uh, climate change or something, right, or you Google a, uh, a candidate that's running for political office. You could be reading a blog post or an article that is written by this artificial intelligence, right? And so depending on how you think, right, there's so much data that's already collected on all of us through Amazon, through Google, through Microsoft, right? We all know this, right? Some of these articles might actually be geared towards brainwashing you in a certain way. Think about it. For example, if you're looking to purchase a new car, you'll probably go online, search the internet for a new car, whatever make and model you're interested in, you're going to look for that. And then you log off, you go, you have dinner, you go see your spouse, whatever it is. And then three days later, you come back, you log back onto your computer. And what do you see in the banners on the side, on the bottom, on the top? Chances are it's going to be banners advertising a new car of some sort, right? We've all seen that. That artificial intelligence is already built in to the systems. So now imagine once they collect even more data on you, they'll take what they have and they'll collect more data on you. And now some of those blog posts, some of that social media is going to be geared towards your interest, your value system, right? Your belief system. And it may not be for the good. It may be trying to change your belief system, right? Um, and brainwash you into thinking something totally different. So we always need to be on guard with what this technology means to us. Um, I think there's a lot of good with chat GBT, right? I do. Um, but we always have to be, like I say, on guard and thinking about how this impacts us, right? I, I share with folks, I stand on the edge of that coin. I look towards, you know, one side and I say, how does this benefit me? I look towards the other side and say, how does this hurt me uh, potentially? And what do I do, right? Just the fact that we know it has the power to act in, an, in a nefarious way, just knowing that is a help. Makes me on guard for uh, some of the ads, some of the blog posts and things out there that makes me exercise my critical thinking that much more, right? I'm a huge fan of critical thinking. And it's not, you know, the, the word critical uh, makes it sound like, like it's bad, like, oh, you're being a negative person. Not at all. Uh, what it means is we're trying to find truth in whatever that idea is. And I think that's a, that's a good thing. We challenge each other. I have a lot, as you can imagine, I have a lot of different conversations with folks about everything from education to politics to real estate to wealth and whole bunch of things. And, and we go back and forth and we challenge each other. And that's a good thing, right? Sometimes they change my belief systems because I, 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 I see the validity and what they're sharing. And other times I, I believe I change their belief system and help them uh, create a, a better environment for themselves. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this aspect because we're seeing more and more about this uh, artificial intelligence, chat, GPT, in the media, 
uh, in the uh, in social media. It's coming up a lot more, uh, and it might just be because I'm I'm researching it. I'm curious to find out more. So again, that AI behind the scenes with you know these social media tools, they're seeing that I'm searching for it. I'm reading those articles. I'm spending time reading that that small little article. It tracks that data. It knows that I am spending time reading that article. So now some of these articles that I'm saying are more and more about artificial intelligence because it knows, <laughs> which is very scary, it knows I'm interested in that. So, um, so yeah, we we have to be on guard. And I just wanted to share that with you folks because I'm I'm so for you know, our, our personal freedom, our financial freedom. I do work hard uh, to help people from that standpoint. I want people to be protected. I want people to understand how this impacts them from a, a, a political standpoint. I want them to understand how it impacts them from an education standpoint. I have a, um, a, a, a young person in my life who's going through, um, he's just graduating uh, college, right? And he's going to work for a consultant firm. And so I shared with him some of my findings on this artificial intelligence. And, you know, he was kind of, you know, I don't want to say oblivious to it, but, you know, he didn't really have a, a take on it one way or another, right? He's a young person. He's excited about graduating college, excited about going off and and doing what he's going to do with his new job and new experiences and opportunity. Great. All great stuff. But unfortunately, I think it's super important to also look into the windshield and say, how does this impact me even just 10 years from now, right? With the amount of money being poured into this, like I said, Microsoft is pouring $10 billion into this new technology. That is huge. Uh, that is going to move the needle on this technology being better, right? More accurate, more available for folks to use. Um, so uh, he's not quite understanding what it means to him. Uh, but if this starts taking jobs away from uh, from an MBA grad, right? So he's going to be graduating with his business degree. And if this starts taking some of those jobs away from an MBA grad or makes his degree less valuable, because now this tool can do the same work he can do virtually, right? To some degree, right? Maybe not the entire 40 hours of the week, but maybe maybe 20 of those hours can now go to artificial intelligence, right? Uh, there's going to be less of a need for this uh, the skill that he has. So yeah, that's and, it, and it's been proven because there was a uh, Wharton uh, professor uh, and Wharton uh, is a you know, a very top tier school. It's ranked, I believe, like like number one business school on a couple of different lists. So it's it's a very highly ranked business school. This tool, Chat GPT, passed with a B grade one of the Wharton Business School exams today. Right. <laughs> so uh, it's only going to get better from here. Right. Uh, so we got to watch out for it. How does this affect our freedom? How does it uh, affect our our health, our wealth, right? How does this affect uh, a lot of a lot of folks out there? I know a lot of my followers are in real estate, which is great. Kudos to you guys. Keep doing more of that. Grow your cash flow. Grow your wealth. But how does it affect us uh, as real estate investors, right? Let's take a look at all of that and try to make up our do some critical thinking and make up our own mind on how that all works. So I wish you all well, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, Hopefully soon with another video to, uh, you know, keep those gears uh, turning. All right. Be well.